know how many times I have gone off track. I have completely forgotten what healthy eating is. Now this happens especially when you're having a wedding season, birthday seasons, or you're on a vacation, or you're just bored like me. You just don't want to eat healthy food anymore, you know, and you just want to stuff your food with all the food in the world but healthy. That's okay. Everybody has gone through, but the question is how you can get back on track. So today I'm going to share some of my six tips that can help you to get back on track after you have fallen off track. But before that, welcome. And if you're new, hi, my name is Nina. I make videos on health, fitness, and lifestyle. So if you do like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like. Now, without a further ado, let's get into the video. Step number one is let go of your guilt. I have taken really long time to understand this. Now, I think I've kind of mastered it. Before, I will eat just one cookie and I will feel so guilty of just eating that. I used to feel the whole world has ended. But that's completely fine if you have gone off track and if you're eating one bag full of chips or one cookie, that's fine. Just remember, tomorrow you start fresh. So don't hold back and don't feel sad about it. Don't be guilty about it. You learn from your mistake, okay? So that's completely fine. Just start fresh the next day. Step number two is it's a lifestyle. It's not a diet. I always and always keep saying this to everyone. I guess people get bored of me saying this, but it is a lifestyle, okay? Healthy living, healthy eating is a lifestyle. It's not a diet, not a diet. So diet word should be out of your mind, out of the window, okay? Diets don't last long. Healthy eating, healthy habits, or healthy living last really long, okay? It helps you physically and mentally, and of course it helps you to live longer. I don't know about you, but I wanna live longer, so I make sure I eat healthy, I live a healthy lifestyle. Of course I do eat cookies, of course I do eat um, ice creams, but that's completely fine because it's all about balanced lifestyle. So that's fine if you have done that in your past, you've done that yesterday, today we start fresh, okay? All good. Step number three is start exercising the next day after you've fallen off the track. I always tell people it's the best, morning is the best time to exercise. But I understand if you can't work out due to some reasons, that's completely fine. But for me, I feel if you've fallen off the track, remember the next day, get back on track by exercising first thing in the morning. I feel it puts you in a right state of mind. You feel really energized and motivated to eat healthy for the rest of the day. So it keeps you on track. So I highly recommend you exercise first thing in the morning after you've fallen off track. Step number four is make a fresh new plan. Of course, it's obvious your old plan wasn't working for you. It wasn't motivating you enough, right? So today, what you have to do is take a pen and a notepad, write down your fresh new goal, your new schedule, your new uh, meal prep, what you're gonna make, or your new complete workout routine. It'll keep you motivated, I promise. And do something what you like, write down something what you love, because if you love something, you will stick to it for longer. And if you don't like something, of course you will not stick to it. So write down the whole new schedule, and remember, slow wins the race. Don't go crazy, just write down very simple goal what you have to reach in that particular month and take it slow from there. Tip number five is don't go too extreme. Now, if you've fallen off the wagon and you're trying to hop back in, the best tip I could give you is don't go too complicated. Nobody likes complicated life, right? Just make it very simple yet reachable. So make a very simple yet very effective plan so you reach your goal faster. Remember, nobody likes complicated life. So don't take it too extreme. Take small, easy steps to reach your goal faster. The last tip I can give you is focus on food. So focus on eating more wholesome food. So don't give me excuse of you not having time, you're a student or you're a mom like me or you're someone who has a 9 to 5 job and you have absolutely no time to cook your food, then do one thing. I've got a news for you. Meal prep. Yes, that's correct. You have your weekends trying meal prepping your whole food for the next week. So you're not going out of food and you're not thinking what you have to cook and you are not going outside eating rubbish. 
okay so me prep so you're well prepared the next week and remember make it simple don't complicate things even with meals I always say make simple meals so you're not going off track the more you make it complicated the harder it gets for you to stick to it so make simple meals you'll reach your goals faster and a lot of people say I'm going to the gym five to six times a day sorry a week and I'm not seeing results it's because honey you're not eating good that's correct your diet what you eat is so important so make sure you are meal prepping if you don't have time or if you have time try and make good wholesome uh, food your food should contain of good carbs good protein good fats and you will see results faster alright guys these are the main six tips that can help you to lead a healthy lifestyle or if you're falling off track this can definitely help you to get on track back I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more content and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!